cringe. This picture, it's cringe. This is cringe. Yeah, it's uh, cringe. And the week begins, as it tends to do, with a Monday. And my week is starting with me basically emailing uh, all the contacts I have at YouTube because I am a YouTuber with over 100,000 subscribers. I have a partner manager, uh, which is basically your direct line of contact at YouTube. So if, if your channel gets hacked or if a video gets uh, deleted or if you want to know how the algorithm can best be pleased, uh, your partner manager is who you message. I don't know how you get partner managers. Um, my first partner manager was Hazel Hayes, uh, who then quit YouTube to become a YouTuber. Um, but I'm emailing them to say, hey, I totally understand why Christmas delivery, our new sketch has been demonetized. You know, it isn't very brand uh, and advertiser safe. However, I think it's unfair that the video has been age-gated uh, because you know, you don't see any full nudity. Like I've seen top trending music videos that are raunchier than this, so any chance we get that appealed? I would like people to be able to see the video because as it stands, only people who are logged into YouTube and go directly to my page are seeing the video. It's not in, it's not in trending, it's not in recommended. If the thumbnail isn't even being shown anywhere. Like, I appreciate and respect the rules, but never hurts to try. So, <laughs> ah, ooh, my shoes have been shipped. That's good to know. Uh, my partner manager has now put me in touch with, uh, someone who can who hopefully can help um it seems unlikely but hey i'm asking and i'm putting forward the case that in regards to the uh community guidelines regarding sexually explicit content that as 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 the video as the sexual content is uh, not explicit and is is only kind of a fleeting appearance um and it's not designed to arouse that hopefully it 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 still falls within the guidelines like i'll respect whatever decision they make but I'm trying to run a business, I'm trying to, you know, pay bills and, and get my channel out there, so I'm gonna try and see what I can I can get away with, and I'm also gonna offer them an alternative, less sexy thumbnail that hopefully they'll be like, yes, if you change it to that, we'll take the age restriction off. Wish me luck! You don't need to wish me luck. This will have already happened by the time you're watching this. Oh god, you already know if I'm fucked, don't you? It keeps happening. Scrolling through that website laughing so hard. I Excuse me? Laughing? Laughing so hard? That's not my accent. Who fuck? Elliot! I'm becoming you! And you're becoming me! I hate this! Elliot? Yeah? What happened to you this morning? Well, I, I was... Okay. So I was on the tube this morning. And it was very cold, and these are like the warmest stuff I have. And I was on the tube, I was stood up by the side, by the window. And I, I just had my like music on, and someone was like, I was like, oh, it like, must be someone asking for directions. But then this guy just came and was like, so, sorry, man, are you homeless? And I was like, oh, no, no, I, no. And then I realized what I looked like, and I was like, oh, no, I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh, no, don't worry about it, sorry, sorry. And went and went like, sat down a few like rows down and I just, re I just realized that I was like oh he's gonna give me money or something he was gonna be really nice and now I feel like I've disappointed this man yeah he's never gonna he's never gonna give he's to homeless people again. again you should have taken the money Elliot and then given it to a I homeless person that now. <laughs> that's so fucked up call me so off guard what did you even do to your nose I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay so here we are in one of the toilets in my office Here's a urinal, and here's a wall that seems to just be covered in, I want to say snot, and it's just so disgusting, and I'm, I just have to complain, I have to be that guy and say, can someone please clean the fucking snot off the walls? How did it get there? Oh man, I can't help but feel bad. I told the receptionist, and she was practically throwing up. I was just describing it, and she was like, Ugh. so, um, <laughs> someone has to bring it up. It's been there for weeks and it's getting worse and someone's not cleaning it. See, now while Elliot may get people assuming he's homeless, I just... I've always had an issue with people avoiding me. And I don't know if it's because of how I look or because of how I dress, but like, a couple of nights ago I went for a walk and a bunch of people just kept crossing the street. I don't think I was taking up the whole street, I'm not that wide. But you know, throughout my life, if I'm ever 
if I'm ever on a bus or on a train and there's an empty seat next to me, it'll get to the point where the seat, where the whole train or bus is full and people will still choose to stand, even when I'm not, even when I've not been overweight. And I think it's just because I give off school shooter vibes, honestly. I think people just always assume I'm about to pull out an AR-15. Guess it's fair. I am wearing a... I am wearing gaming merch and a t-shirt that says Budweiser on it right now. Oh, damn it. Work is finishing quite a few hours earlier today than usual. Uh, I'm going home at 3pm. Eddie had to rush off only an hour after getting into work because uh, Rick was taken to the hospital. If you're watching this, it means he was completely fine. Uh, if you're not watching this, it means that Rick's dead. I felt really bad and didn't include this in the edit. So again, if you're watching this, he's fine. Uh, so now I'm gonna go home and probably eat, knowing me. I don't, I don't know. So the mum of the group bought you the all pajamas. Well, pajamas. That is adorable. <laughs> Squidge, what are you doing? I want to play. No, Squidge, it's our game of truth bombs. You get out of here. Who would they push off a cliff? Who wouldn't they? <laughs> Do you want no, his to play? Name is Carl. Is it? Yeah, his name okay. is Carl. I called him Carl. Write your answers. Like when you haven't had your morning coffee. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny we love boy. you so much. You're a funny boy. So I've like, not just not won, but pretty much lost every single game of this fucking truth bomb game I've ever played because people always wrongly attribute the meanest answers to me when I'm just trying to be. I'm just trying to make everyone have a good time. I'm not a piece of shit. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Charlie White, what's my like poo all evening? That's not true. We were playing truth bombs. I've got Squidge in my arms. Like we're cuddling, he's been falling asleep. And we we were just I'm distracted, we're having a good time, and all I feel is a little vibration on my arm, and then suddenly liquid is just oh. running down and it smells it, the smell, it smells like rotten blood. And he immediately like just hops off and pisses off and leaves me with this mess on my arm and I have to like subtly excuse myself. Oh, excuse me, I'm just washing the poop off my arm. Thanks, boy. He's a good boy. You're gross. You're nasty. Good boy. <laughs> Tom, what, what did you think Let It Snow goes like? Let it snow! Let it snow! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wanted to get to the fucked up bit. Come on! Okay! Come on, Squidge! Come on, Squidge! Come on, Squidge! Oh, oh you fucked it up! Come on, Squidge! Come on, Squidge! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Squidgey! Squidgey! Yay! Good boy! So the office is about as clean as it gets in time for the Turbo Punch Christmas party this Friday of which we will also hopefully be filming Tom's Cars Day Out 11. What's Gareth up to? Oh buddy, he's having a good time. Could he be any more cheeky? Oh look at this box. I can't show you any more of this box because it has my address on it but I treated myself to a new iMac for Christmas so I can't open it yet. It is also because my iMac is, is dying very much and I, I fucking hate it so much. <laughs> so Eddie and I are now on our way to the premiere of Star Wars The Last Jedi and I am very very excited. Um, the event is black tie but I only have one fancy out with the fits so they don't let me in there fat phobic. Um, speaking of Disney products, Marvel. Speaking of Marvel products, Jessica Jones. I recently watched the Jessica Jones season two trailer and it ends with a, a particularly strange quote wherein she says, like, if you say with great power comes great responsibility, I'll hit you. And it's like, that's a funny joke. But in the context of a Marvel show, it doesn't make any sense because does that mean that she knows what Peter Parker's dying uncle, uncle said to him? It's kind of fucked up that she's just using that as banter. Because obviously Spider-Man comics and, and movies don't exist, so... Jessica, what the fuck? Okay. Neat. It's a ball ball. Neat. Okay. We may have gone in the wrong door and skipped the entire red carpet, but that's fine, honestly. 
Starges. Hey Marianne, how's it going? You ready for Star Wars? Marianne, you ready for Star Wars? Eddie, yes. Eddie, everyone, everyone's, everyone's already left. Hello. <laughs> Surprisingly empty for a premiere, I'm surprised. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, more for us. That was a film. It was a film. That we just saw, and I have so many feelings and opinions, and I'm not going to share them because because oh. spoilers. Um, <laughs> the princes were here. That was fun. Yes. Prince William and Harry didn't bring their partners, though. That would have been far more Rude, interesting. In fact. Yeah. He's engaged. Didn't bring it. Yeah, that's just. It's real shitty, Harry. That was that was fun. I had a very fun time watching that movie. Yeah. It was a Star War. <laughs> I can't say anything. I want to say stuff, but I can't. I don't want to spoil it. I have to wait like a, uh, at least I'd say two weeks to talk about the things I I liked and, and and thought about the movie, which I guess is good because it gives me more time to think about it, more time to rewatch the film. Oh, I can't. But it's fun. It's more Star Wars, and if you like Star Wars already, great. If you don't like Star Wars, that's fine. If you haven't seen Star Wars, definitely watch it before watching this film. Oh, goody! Oh boy, so... It says I'm a 50, 50 pound Uber away from home. At 2.3 times surge pricing. So, about 120 pound Uber, so not getting that. Um, fuck. Alright. I am very far away from home. So I've said it before. But I'll say it again. Going to movie premieres and screenings is probably my favourite sort of lavish perk or privilege that comes with what I do. Obviously, there's plenty of other things that I'm grateful for and, and stuff. But in terms of just like silly privileges, that's definitely the top one for me. And it's a weird system because you get invited to these films to promote the films. You're there to take selfies and tweet about it and, and talk about the film, but it's so hard that not to come off as bragging and like, hey, I got to see this film before you, Bleh. So, please know that if I do that, it's not me being like, wow, look how great my life is. Um, I'm, I am playing the game because I want to keep being able to do this. I want to see movies. I want to see screenings. It's really fun. I really, really like it. And if you, Sometimes if you say bad shit about a film, you don't get invited to the next premiere, and that's why I try to only go to ones that I think I'm gonna like now, because I don't want to say something bad and get banned again. So I try to basically, instead of selling myself out and losing my integrity even more, just be more careful with what I lose my integrity over. It is raining a lot. I don't think I can vlog anymore. Those days where being a daily vlogger kind of takes its toll because I've already filmed every day-to-day -day task a million times. I don't want to film it again. So here we are jumping straight to the evening for a Lincoln University alumni thing. And as far as I know, I'm the only Lincoln alumni I know being invited. So yay. Thank you all very much indeed for turning out on what has turned out to be quite a, a wet evening to be here. So that was uh, that was an interesting little networking event for all the for all, for a handful of graduates of my university. I didn't really know anyone there. But there was free alcohol though, so that was great. It's once again time for my accountant's annual Christmas party. And if you remember, my accountant perpetually tries to kill me with alcohol poisoning, so... Wish me luck, please. Fuck our lives, fuck our <laughs> lives. Did you sleep last night? No. No, oh, have fun with baby. I really need to do a better job of eating breakfast before these events. Beer for breakfast is bad. Eddie, you fucking lightweight. Yeah, I have a baby, I'm very tired. <laughs> I survived. We survived. But at what cost, Tom? My liver. Uh... Beautiful. <sighs> Motherfucker. So I popped into the office to pick up my camera, because hopefully I'm filming Tom Scar's Day Out, 11 tomorrow. And as soon as we get in, it seems that net neutrality laws have been repealed in America. And basically what this means is that potentially now internet service providers will have the power to 
throttle the internet to put, to put one website or one service above another deny you access to other services make you pay extra to do shit that you've currently been able to do for like one standard fee you know it used to be give us 10 pounds a month and you have access to the internet now it can be like give us 15 pounds a month and you can have access to youtube and twitter and that's it um so it's potentially pretty shitty uh, if you aren't if you aren't in the loop on it yet and you are american please do look into it potentially call your local representatives um but this this is pretty shitty and and it could mean that it's it's gonna you know trickle over to here in the uk and around the world so we just finished catching up with the walking dead specifically amc's the walking dead and i love i love the walking dead you know uh, the comics the games the show but I'm ready for the show to end now. Like, I think all good things should come to an end. And... It's time to wrap it up, guys. I think you've killed off a lot of characters. A lot of motivations. It's just a bit too bleak now. I'd, I'd be fine with them just... Just tying it, tying it up. Please and thank you. How do you feel about it, Charlie? Oh, Charlie... What do you want to happen to The Walking Dead? I think ending it would be a good thing. Um, maybe even like doing like an animated series would be cool. Anime, an anime series? Animated. No, an anime series. No. <laughs> With a really long opening. Squidge, what the fuck, dude? Calm your ass down. Did you scare him? No. I was... What did you do to my dog? I was slowly walking towards him like this. Oh, he runs, yeah. Hey, Squidge. Oh, he's gonna do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 she looks around Monica's a potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Next time I game grumps. Next time I game grumps. Oh, we'll see you then, babies. I'll find out what happens next. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so I'm going dark today because I'm hopefully filming Tom's Cars Day Out 11 on a different camera and I'll be carrying this one around with me all day. But, good news... Uh, after uh, five days of appealing and chasing and waiting around, Christmas delivery has had its age restriction removed. It's actually finally available for everyone to watch. Um, oh, that's a relief. But obviously, you know, it's in its opening weekend, it's only had 500,000 views, which is, I think, maybe the worst opening week of any video I've made in about six <laughs> years so uh if you like that video or if you haven't seen it yet please do watch it please please god share it i would very very much appreciate it um this has been quite the kerfuffle uh you don't have to but i would very much appreciate it the christmas miracle uh you could call it so i'm gonna go film a day out now if it stops raining it's very wet outside Please go up, show. Oh, well that day was full on, so full on that my beard fell off. Mm. I definitely didn't just shave because I have a bunch of ingrown hairs that I'm trying to get rid of. Um, no, I have a beard. Well. It's not a beard. <laughs> I hope I filmed enough for this day out. I always worry when I film it uh, if I've got enough stuff, uh, you know, because I like to have a full day and then end on a, on a bit montage-y sequence -y thing. I think this time the montage sequence will be very, very short and just the going home period as opposed to the the Christmas office party that we had. But yeah, I'm fucking exhausted now, like emotionally and physically. Wow. McDonald's, 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 McDonald's. No, it's Kentucky Fried Chicken in the Pizza Hut. So one of the reasons why Tom Scar's Day Out is such an important series is because it's actually feasible to watch it um, a second time around for repeat viewings. I, I'm, I, what I'm trying to do with that is boil down sort of a year's worth of development as a, as a 
person in, you know, in my social circle in my life down into like one video you know that's within 10 minutes long and I could just watch that whenever I want to remind myself what that time was like like last week is is great and it's created a very detailed look at what my life was like but realistically speaking I can't just re-watch last week whenever I want um I don't even know how many years sorry, I mean how well sorry not years but how many hours worth of content last week is total but it's got to be I don't know maybe 30 40 hours of stuff already so can't really watch that again so with Tom Scott's Day Out what I can do is just like an old DVD pop it on and watch through them all and relive 10 years of my life in the space of less than two hours and that's one of the reasons it's so significant to me give me the piggy oh, yeah. go get the piggy oh god he killed the piggy can I, can I have it can I have it please please you want it do you want it oh god go ahead oof fucking hell squidge okay ready squidge go get it oh squidge bring the pig you fucked it up again go get the pig go get the pig go get it squidge where are my shoes because see these are two shoes but there's only one of each one and I know that they're not anywhere else so where have you, where have you put my shoes what have you done to my shoes <coughs> hey hey you little shoe piece of shit did you steal my shoes did you steal my shoes did you did you do it did you steal my shoe yep. son of a squid you little fuck boy yeah. Come on, man. Why are you gonna be? Why are you gonna be like this? He's a sleepy boy. He's dreaming with his eyes open. Oh, squeaky. My parents are coming around today, which means it's mad cleaning time. I've got to get uh, all the mess that I don't clean up the rest of the year dealt with. One thing that's great about being older though, now in your own home, is it's no longer untidy, it's lived in. It's a great technicality that adults have kept for themselves all these years. So next time your mum asks you to clean your room, be like, it's not untidy, it's lived in. Or if your dad or legal guardian asks you to clean your room. Mums aren't the only ones that nag. Feminism. Me, I'm getting festive. We getting festive, Squidge? Well, yeah, we're getting fast. I mean, All right, Dad's putting some plants in the garden. Mum, look how clean it is. It is so tidy. You've made it messy. Yes, I did that. Scum. Oh, Can you stop, Squidge? Squidgy widgies. He's going to pull that hair through the whole house. And my hair isn't like his. It's not livable. Stop panicking, it's, it's fine. It's dry and coarse like sand. It gets everywhere. Yeah. I'm beautiful. Squidge, get off. What are you doing? You don't belong here. You ain't people. I'm not filming you. Okay. Look at him. He's more exciting. So exciting cool. isn't the word I would use. Oh my goodness. So the week is over. And yeah, I know. I haven't vlogged that much. At least not these last few days. I do apologize. I've been cleaning the house. Look how clean this is. Look at it. Look at that. Look, it's just, it's everything's, everything's where it belongs. Everything. It's amazing! It's a lot of work to do that. Uh, especially when you're a lazy piece of shit like me. But we're finishing up uh, business at Turbo Punch Limited uh, tomorrow. And then it's freaking Christmas. And I'm gonna do my best. Got a lot to do. I'm gonna try and reply to as much of the mail you've sent in as possible. No promises. But thank you very much for watching. And Guess what? I'll see you last week. Oh, On Christmas Day, no less.